Well, I'm on my way home from dropping off some knives. It's uh, 12 o'clock exactly right now. I think uh, the Mumbles Man, aka the Chain Man, and Low Tide Tim are heading down to the land of Nile in about a half hour. <clears throat> Low Tide's at 3.30. They got to be back home by 4.30. So I'm not going down till I'm gonna leave at one, so I'll be there around 1.30. We got some kind of reporter guys gonna do an article on us about ring returns. I don't know what that's all about, but I guess we'll know more later. I should be home in about 10 minutes. Then I gotta put my gear in the truck. Maybe get a bite to eat. And then head to the land of Nala. And I get a report when I get there from them two looters and other looters. Low Tide Tim's right there, the Mumbles Man's right there, or the Chain Man, I guess I should call him the Chain Man. I like Chain Man better. Now he's got messed up, his headphones broke on him this morning, so he's using the external speaker only on his knocks. Lots of depositors here today. Let's we'll see what the beach looks like. The waves, some deposited. Looks a little, uh, maybe too rough for any deep work. We'll have to see how that goes. I got a 20 here, but I can't get it out. That jumps around a little bit. Yeah, that might be a bottle cap. Well, I feel it now. Maybe sunglasses. I feel something like metal. Uh oh. Pretty cool, huh? You got another one over here, mermaid. Big mermaid. <laughs> if your stuff will be on the video tonight. You Grave Digger Max. All right. YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube. All right. Florida. Yeah. You'll be on there tonight, Grave Digger Max. All one word. Yeah. YouTube. So what? Anyone took YouTube. pictures of you guys yet? It Brave is so cute Max. that you're playing in the sand like that. I love it. Oh, he's taking pictures. Chiquito. Bling. First piece of bling. It was hard to find, too. Number two. Best of it. Might be a bottle cap. Got some minus numbers now. No, I don't think so. What number is this? 17. I don't know what 17 is. 17 could be anything. Bullet. Come in from uh, Dam Neck, washed up with the sand. Yeah. Interesting. Find a lot of bullets. When they replenish the beach from the way off there, we're finding. 50 caliber bullets in cases. We still find them if we get a good storm or something. That place is loaded with big bullets. Game Man. Game Man says it's bleak. 
You ain't got to tell me that. I know it's bleak. I just dug a quarter behind him. He said this is a 17. I can hear it. is in the hole. like a nickel. If it says it's a nickel, it's a nickel. fell through but it's not there anymore down to a kind of a low junk, junky metal so it's nothing but bling we call it. Bleak. Now we can hunt it up this way all the way up on the high because the tide is going this way. Now I'm going to hunt back in this area so it ain't hold hard swinging. to them boys. Hey, 
bottle cap, bottle cap. In the waves. Yeah. Having a good time. Dave, how you doing, man? Doing all right for an old guy. What's new? I'm doing okay. What you been doing? We got a three here. I don't know what's going to be. But sometimes I like three. Sometimes I don't. It's a seven out of the sand. Seven. That's why I had to look. Detective Central! Hey, what's up? You're shaping her right up. Huh? You're shaping her right up. Yes, it is. Yep. What do you say, Mr. Thomas? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm not sure what that was going to be. But this is the same guy that had the turtle in the mermaid. Now he's got a porpoise. Gonna come back through the afternoon. Nice turtle. And a nice mermaid. He was working on a mermaid when we were here. Well, I've been here three hours. I'm leaving an hour early. Four o'clock on the button. It's bleak. It's Friday. We gotta take the gang out for dinner. The land of Nada was bad. But I did see one gold ticket finally. I'll get back to you. When we get home. In the past, this is an old Excalibur battery pod that I have. We used to take them to a, well, we still take them to a place called Battery Outlet here and they put new battery packs in them. But after a while, the outside part that you screw the thing onto, they break and they all come loose like this, you see. And the house is all cracked. Nothing you can do about the house. You can buy a whole new battery pack. And that's what's got to happen to this one. It's just beyond repair. Just recently, my lab has come out with a parts department. I don't know if y'all, everybody's aware of it or not. Well, they started to sell some of their parts, which they never did before. <coughs> My other Excal battery, the green one, is cracked right along in here. This is a replacement end cap. And like I said, you could never buy this before until just recently. So I bought two. One for spare. But in order to get that battery pack right there, of course the house is cracked, you got to buy a whole new pot. But now I can I can fix my Excal battery that has a little split right here in it, and if I have a spare, if I ever need it, I guess you can get them from any mine lab dealer. I got mine from Ron at Gold Digger Detectors in New Jersey. It's fifty bucks, I think they were. Just plug them in, put the screws in them, hold them in place. Big O-ring. Keeps the water from getting in. 
tested and proven over years and years, no problems. It was a bad day in the land of Nada today for us all. I think I already told you that. Bad day. Bad day at Black Rock. But that's the way old Nada is to us sometimes. I can't get these to work. That rainstorm we was in the other day messed them up. I can turn them on and they come on, but they chatter and chirp and do all kinds of weird stuff. My buddy Dick, he had the same problem. He's got water in him, rain water or something. They just don't work after a little bit of water. You wouldn't think water would hurt them, rain water, but they're all to pieces. And here's the uh, extraordinary nut from today, from the land of Nala. Three bottle caps. You saw that, that. You might not have saw that fancy pull tab. You saw this early on. This is the first target I dig, I think. Two quarters, one meager nickel, four meager pennies. And that's bad, I'm telling you. That's the reason I left early. Three hours to just find that little bit of crap. I'll probably go tomorrow after the knife gig. Knife gig's from, you know, 9 to noon. The tie's not low till, uh, it was 3.15, I think, today. So it'll be like 4-something tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'll go again tomorrow. That's all I know about. I don't know if they even got a nut from Denny. It was so poor. I'll check my text in a minute and find out if I do. I'll add it to the back. We bought some new waterproof headphones from Tony in California. You know, Tony Eisenhower, I don't know how many of y'all follow him, but he's making some really really nice headphones for the uh equinox i've been hesitant about buying some but my buddy dewey dewey in florida's got a pair of them he said they work really good in the water that guy pro cali i don't know if you know who pro cali is but he's a youtuber he's got a pair of them in california and after hearing his recommendation and dewey's me and gig Bought three pair, one for me, one for him, and probably a set for Danny, but he's not in the loop on them yet right now. All right. I'll put the uh, link to uh, Tony Eisenhower's YouTube if I, can, if I can remember to do it. I'll put it in the end of this too. But got nice headphones. I mean nice. All right, that's it. I'm headed to the recliner. Nothing from the mumbles, man, other than the fact you said 29 cent. It's pretty bleak, as I told you already. <laughs>